everybody, this is CP in the Kitchen. That was Corey. Corey is doing fantastic. So today we're gonna make meatballs. Now, you need to realize something about me and meatballs. Um, we're not, like, it's not our thing, is it, Sonia? Yeah. We're just, uh, I made these about three weeks ago, and we all liked them. So I'm not Italian. I don't claim to be Italian. Um, and this is not like a specialty of mine. I just kind of throw these together. And the other thing I was going to tell you is this, was that when it comes to cooking, it's different than when I bake. When I bake, I give like exact things, like two cups of this or a, with this, I just kind of, I don't really ever measure at all. I just kind of do it by feel. So for today, what we're going to do is here's the key is we've got ground beef and we've got raw sausage. All right. This is a, me the one thing I don't like about this is it's messy. So you take, and what's that? Oh, Parmesan cheese. Yeah, so, so, so the ingredients are ground beef, the sausage, uh, salt, pepper, breadcrumbs. i um, going to need uh, Parmesan cheese, and then I forgot one thing. We need one egg. Uh, the egg and the breadcrumbs just help solidify your... Um, whoops. Uh-oh. Your um, meatballs. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take this. Can we use all this? Sure. Okay. And we're gonna put that in. We're gonna put this in. <laughs> and notice Mr. Perry is doing it and not Mrs. Perry. We're gonna take this. Yeah, maybe a little more. You don't have meat on your hand, do you? No. Okay. But I am gonna wash this before I use salt and pepper. And then I'm going to put a healthy amount of salt and pepper. One thing I learned from, I think it was Laura in the kitchen, um, well, it's not just her actually, it's several people. They all say the same thing when it comes to, to cooking, and that is season every step of the way. So in other words, if you're gonna, if you're gonna season, fine, but you can season stuff now. And you can also season again. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this with my hands. I'll have Mrs. Perry come back in a minute. I'm gonna mush this with my hands because it's disgusting. And then um, I'm not going to sit here and do show you the whole thing. I'll show you that once I'm halfway through or, or almost done. Okay, now we're back. I've got it all mushed together. This is disgusting. No way to it. No way to it. Um, then you take a piece of meat. This is the ground beef, the pork, uh, the Parmesan salt, pepper, and the big. egg. What's that? That one's a little bit big. Yep, yeah. and you take it like this, and then you just roll it into a bowl. This is a little bit big for us, but that just gives you an idea. And then what you do is, after you do all of this, there's one. And so you make the meatballs as big as you want them. Um, we like them kind of small, but whatever floats your boat. And they're going into... Well, not yet. Well, actually, they're not going in that, but they're going to be served along. Yeah, I'm going to show you the step after this, because there's, there's two more steps to go for how I did them that we really liked. And it's, again, everybody does their meatballs different, but if you like something different, try these. We really like them. So, so I'll be back um, when I'm done making all these in a little bit, and I'll show you what, what I do next. We're back. Uh, I got them made finally. Mrs. Perry will show you a little picture of those. Um, one thing I did do a little bit different than normal is I cleaned a little bit excessively because I don't do raw meat, especially raw pork and raw hamburger. I didn't also not mention to you that um, I use equal parts basically of, of the ground beef and the, and the ground pork. So now what we're doing is this. Um, we have olive oil in a pan and we're gonna make that hot. And we're going to fry the meatballs till they're browned on the outside. Uh, at the same time, we're going to put our oven 
um, on 350 because we're going to finish them in the oven. So they're going to have a nice crust on the outside with um, just a real uh, tender, uh, moist uh, inside. So once my frying pan gets nice and hot, I'll show you what it should look like when you put them in the frying pan. Oh. All right, my oil is, for some odd reason, popping. Really bad. So we're going to put, and notice the sizzle. You want the sizzle on your meatball. I don't know why my hand's doing that, but now we got another issue. Here That's we go. Sizzling now, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, man. What is going on? Sorry, I moved my... Oh, that does not make me happy at all. All right, well, anywho, so we're gonna fry these. Ouch. We'll be back after the popping and snapping, kind of get a close up on the meatballs. You'll notice the color as I turn them over. See, they got a nice color on them. This has a little bit of flavor to it. So, what we're gonna do is uh, I'll come back when I show you what I do when these are done, and uh, we'll go from there. Sorry. All right, so these are all pretty much brown, so see how they look. So now I'm going to turn them over to this baking dish. Um, ouch, I'm getting burnt. So I'm going to lift these up so I don't get torched. And now I just, some of you are going to panic about this, but I am going to use the same set of tongs um, to grab the raw meatballs. Fear not. Here's why. What? Well, why? Why, Mrs. Perry? Why is it okay? Yeah. Why am I not worried about that? Because those are cooked now, and you're not transferring. Yeah, but but now I'm gonna go to raw, raw meatballs. But it doesn't matter because you've already picked up the other meatballs. Well, it doesn't matter because these are gonna go in the oven at uh, at three fifty. Right, but you're also not gonna oh, yeah, retouch yeah, yeah. those with it. That's true. Yeah. So there's multiple reasons why it's not really an issue, but I'm also putting them in the oven for a while, so. So what I'm going to do is now, I'm just going to do the rest of these meatballs the same way you saw me do those. When that's completely done, I'm going to come back and I'll show you what we do with the oven. Okay, so I just finished up all of the meatballs. So that's what they look like. I, they're they're not completely done. And I'm going to put them, ouch, I am burning myself a lot today. I'm going to put them in our oven, uh, uncovered for, I don't know, how long did I do it last time? 30 minutes-ish? Did you put that in the middle or high up? Ah, uh, wherever, it is. I'm going to put it in for 25 minutes. I'll cut one open and we'll see what they taste like or look like. Okay. All right. So here I am cutting open a meatball and there you can see what it looks like on the inside. There's the outside. And again, we are not big meatball people. Um, but the mixture of the ground beef and the sauce, this has a lot of sausage in it. This one does. With the, the Parmesan and the breadcrumb. It just adds great flavor. Now what we do is, we keep ours separate. Um, we have the sauce right here for our spaghetti sauce. Here's the hot water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some pasta. I'm gonna put my meatballs just on top of the sauce. Um, but some people like to let, put their meatballs in the sauce for a while. Um, what's the matter? The, the light is shining like right over, over your head. Over here. Okay, that's there better. We go. So some people put their meatballs in their sauce. Uh, I did that once. My family didn't like it as much because why, honey? It made it, it more mushy. Soggy, yes. Made it more mushy. So we we, we like it more firm. Again, we are not a huge meatball per, uh, uh, people, but this just adds something really different. Uh, and they're your... small, so they're kind of crunchy. They're not yeah. like. And these are just so good here, son. I think of a big one like a meatloaf. And here, that's gross. You taste it. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's just good. It's mm -hmm. just real simple. So anyway, uh, tell me what you think in the comments, um, and. Let me know how you do them, maybe. And, um, That's good. Yeah, they're just really good. Thanks a lot for watching.